The latest movie news and reviews to see or not to see. Hey guys, today I'm taking a look at the Muppets. After being absent from the big screen for nearly 12 years, they're back and better than ever. I was a little worried myself that this movie wouldn't be that great, uh, but I gave it a chance. It was written and directed by Jason Siegel of How I Met Your Mother and Forgetting Sarah Marshall fame, and anyone who saw the latter knew he had a bit of a soft spot for the Muppets. You can tell that he really is just an enormous Muppets fan, as the movie hasn't been reinvented to try and modernise the Muppets. It's the same style that we all grew up with and loved. Gary, played by Siegel, his girlfriend and his brother Walter, who is a new Muppet, decides to take a trip down to LA. Walter wants to see the Muppet Studios, but Mary and Gary are going there for their 10th anniversary of dating. There they discover oil tycoon Tex Richmond's plan to tear down the Muppet Theatre. That's when they decide to get the Muppet gang back together and put on one last show to raise enough money to try and save the theatre. Make no mistake, this is a Muppet movie through and through and it's full of musical numbers from new ones like Life's a Happy Song through to the classics like Rainbow Connection and everyone's favourite Manamana is in there as a nice little Blues Brothers style closing credits montage. The trailers did emphasise Jason Siegel and Amy Adams but this is a Muppet film and almost the entire gang is back. One absentee though for me was Rizzo the Rat uh, which had uh, me a little disappointed but the rest of the gang more than make up for his absence. New Muppet Walter is a little bland, comes across more like a Sesame Street Muppet than a movie Muppet but he still brings a lot to the film and apparently Frank Oz said that he felt that this film didn't focus on character development of the Muppets enough but really these characters have been around for over 35 years if people don't know their personalities by now, they're not going to be the people that this film's geared towards. I think the reason this movie works so well is it has the kids won over by the cute Muppets uh, and the hilarious slapstick gags, while also making parents and adults reminisce about growing up with the Muppets. The result is both generations leaving the cinema with a big smile on their faces. The Muppets is in cinemas in Australia on January 12th and I'm giving it a 4 out of 5. Check out more movie reviews online right now to see or not to see.net.